I have no idea. Let's see. So here we are. The wind clawed at my window all night long. Hello? Hello? Just a second. Something went wrong. Seems my picture is frozen. Oh, okay. It wandered the fields and howled like a hungry beast. I've forgotten what it was. Can we go back? The wind clawed at my window all night long. Okay. It wandered the fields and howled like a hungry beast. An endless song wave from all sorts of voices, shrill, gentle, sneering, twined in the air. They were shouting and laughing and arguing about something. Someone was running through the snow while casting long shadows that would occasionally creep close to my bed. I hope this game is not a reading contest. Our house had what? Our house had a mid a mind of its own. The midtown. <laughs> I wanted to say midtown, I have no idea why. Yeah. The creaky old mind of a building that had seen a lot in its days and was seemingly trying to share it its wisdom with the inhabitants. The lonely house faced the forest, and the dark green ticket gazed back with its hollow eyes, rustling, whizzing, swaying back and forth. One could come out and stand, what? One could come out and stand at the edge of the forest to reassure themselves there was nobody behind the crooked trees. Fuzzy silhouettes swaying in the wind couldn't possibly do any harm. What's wrong? My... Is it just me? Okay, I have no idea. Uh, my stream manager always tells me that the stream is, uh, is rip, but... Ah, harm. Don't bring me out of my reading here. Come on. It's just a play of light and shadow just a play. I knew it was just my imagination. I was already 12 after all. Oh, we're a little kid. Still? <gasps> oh, a fox. Mom? Hey, put away your book. Mom, how many times have I told you not to read at the table? It's bad for your health. Look at how slouched you are. It's bad to read at the table when you eat? What? I read the newspaper in the old days. Today we don't read anything. <laughs> Hide. Oh! I didn't protest and put the, put the book about Conan the Barbarian aside. Well, of course, that hurts. I was stuck on a line I couldn't understand after reading it three times anyway. Olga? Olaya? Olaya? No, it's an uh, Y, right? Olaya had already finished her breakfast and was munching on some cookies. She was so enthusiastic... 
she almost looked like your typical girl from commercials. <laughs> All right, shows <laughs> she liked the cookies. That's good. Um, you're not, what? You're not going anywhere until you're finished. All of it. Oh, mom is talking. Sorry. Um, I, on the other hand, was still trying to drill a hole in the plate with my eyes as if I would make the porridge disappear. Oh, we're British. It's porridge. Okay. Let's be British. Hayes' anxiousness well up inside. All because of the previous sleepless night, the black forest around our house and the gloomy wind. Okay. The longer I waited, the colder the lumpy white substance became. Oh, the food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looked like a jellyfish from the... Uh, oh, from the Cousteau Odyssey. Okay, Odyssey. I love that show. Okay. I wonder how horrifying the bottom of the ocean is. Or how could the black forest... Or how cold the black forest is at night. The spoon fell on my hand. Mom showered me with a cold glare from her green eyes. What did I just say? Anton? Oh, that, that's us, Anton. I'll get it. I had ten seconds to catch my breath before battling the nasty porridge once again. Moment. I felt around for the spoon. What is this? Carved on the on the other side of the table. Eh? Kapna. Karina? Oh, that's a Russian game. Sorry. Yeah. It's a Russian game. Karina. Eh? That's my mom's name? That's my mom's name? What? Go back. What? Ha, ah, that's my mum's name. Oh, sorry. There was no question mark. Sorry. Um, I guess she carved it out with some pointy when she was little. She sure was a rascal, damaging the furniture like that. She would scold me for a week if I did some, something similar, though. Should I remind her about it? No. She's been in a bit of a bad mood lately. I imagine her being my age sitting under this table. I imagine being I imagine her being my age sitting under this table. I wonder uh, was mom afraid of the dark back then? Uh, afraid of the dark back then? Or the sounds coming from the attic? Or the thick forest? Oh. This is reading. Didn't they say they had a voice reading this? Wow. Um, yeah. I like story games. I do. Wow. But this is just reading. Okay, let's do it. Um, I imagine my, my grandma coming into my little mom's room, sitting at the edge of her bed, where Olga... Olaya sleeps nowadays and saying this is her soft smooth and saying and saying this is her soft smooth voice. Huh? Can I go back? Yeah. What? I imagine my grandpa coming into my little mom's room, sitting at the edge of her bed where Olaya sleeps nowadays and saying ah with this in her, with in her. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry, that's just a mistake in, in translation. It's okay. I'm saying with her soft, smooth voice. Tiger is a special place, little girl. It's watching you closely, sniffing you out, trying to discern what kind of beast you are. If you're a good sort, it won't abandon you in time of trouble. But if you're a bad apple, 
It'll grab you by the side and drag you under the ground. And that would be it. Grandma was caring. She never fought with anybody. Never yelled, never swore. Wow, good girl, good girl, good girl. She just tells her little daughter, if you're not a good girl, the forest will eat you. Good girl, good girl. Yeah. I don't know the Russian equivalent to, to the F word, but maybe she could say I, it will <laughs> eat you. Maybe she would say that when she, if, she, if this was an American game. I will <laughs> eat you. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. The Lurking Guild is back. Hey, hello. Atten, Commander Root, and Feed. Hello. Welcome for Lurking By. Thank you. Um, by the way, where's my MoBot? Still not there. Nope. Okay. Maybe he'll come around. Um, those were the times without the madding screams until late. Those were the times without the madding screams until late at night. Without smashing dishes at mu mutual accusations. Our parents used to love each other, others back then. Our parents used to love each other back then. Okay. I had a different different sentence in my mind, sorry. Um, I remember listening in one of their conversations about chance. Uh, conversations by chance. They were talking about Grandma getting prepared for the funeral. She had already bought a, ga a casket and she called it her cute funeral box. Oh, that's nice. It waited for its time in the closet, patiently. It was black unholstered with meat colored material on the inside on the inside i saw it when my grandma was getting buried meat colored wow grandma is look she's like david bowie she has two different eye colors wow what the house didn't change since the time she was alive only all of the photos were gone. Glass-covered pictures, pictures <laughs> with grey faces on my, of my ancestors. They all had a they all had a dead, but watchful look, watchful look in their eyes. They all had a dead, but watchful look in their eyes. I have never heard the word watchful. Sorry. Um. I crawled out from under the table. Olaya was done with her cookies, and she was looking at me, at my share, like a sly woodland critter. Woodland critter, sorry. Um, I turned my gaze towards the forest window. Oh no, this is just a reading game. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah. Um, they were a lot. Just a second, I have to take a look at something. What's wrong? Oh, sorry, I'm back. Oh. The pattern of the forest formed a picture on the glass. Olaya, look, it's a fox. Where? It looked almost like those optical illusion thingies <laughs> they put on the back of students' notebooks. A mixture of lines at first glance, glance, but if you blur your vision a little bit and look under a certain angle, not outside, on the window. Look, here's the nose, and here... Hey, eat up! Yes, yes, just a moment. I don't see anything. Hurry up. There's not much left. Ah, there it is. But it still doesn't look like one. And I'm telling you it does. No, it does. Stop it. These kids, I swear. Now I couldn't see the fox either. It disappeared. 
went away. Only the frosty patterns, similar to the scratched out nettle leaves, kept creeping up the glass. My dad entered the kitchen with long, measured steps. I want to have a beard like his when I grow up. Yeah, he has these wolverine sleeves. Look at this here. Bit like... Mum would always ask, jokingly, come on, shave it off. It stings. This was so long ago. Nowadays, rumbling doors and witty comebacks were an everyday occurrency. Here, Olga always covers her ears whenever she hears something like, What's the point in all this? Through the wall. It is all for your... Uh, it's all for your sake, Dad would reply, for the sake of our family. It always caught every... I always caught every sound in fear of hearing the most dreaded, the deadliest. Word that started with a D. Devo? What? I don't even want to finish it. Divo a divorce. It was scary to imagine that me and my girl, little sister <clears throat> could be torn apart and taken into two different families. Olga, anyway, your fox is nothing. I have an owl on my window. You and your owl talk again. You said you believed me just yesterday. What? Has anybody seen my car keys? I remember leaving them on the window sill. Right. Maybe you didn't, and maybe not, Mom says. You're a grown man, a father of two, and still... Karina, please stop. Just let me go ready in peace. Uh, let, let me get ready in peace. Your keys are in the basket near the phone. Well, thank you very much. Anton stopped mar making a matura out of yourself and finished eating already. Anton stopped making a matura <clears throat> out of yourself and finished eating already. I hate these type of relationships. Ooh, you're not a good father. You're not a good this. You're not a good that. Well, get divorced or whatever. Get a haircut. And the owl, Eule in German. <laughs> There was no Euler. But there was one. I had a giant it had giant glowing eyes. Olga sprang from the chair and placed her hand on her little face, imitating a pair of eyes with her fingers, the size of an apple each. Last year you had Babai in your closet, and now this owl? But but I saw it. Olga shifted her gazed back and forth from dad to mom to me, but couldn't find any support. Have you thought about befriending it? You know, like feeding it with imaginary mice? Don't bully our girl. Oh, mom, you're getting divorced, so shut up. She's just afraid to sleep alone because she's still little. Olga pouted her lips in rebellion and rushed into the hallway. The staircase that led to the second floor cracked. Mom gave Dad a strict look. Well, if there is an imaginary owl, you can feed it with imaginary mice. How about that? Don't look at me like that, Mom. Oh, that look in her eyes. <clears throat> it's so uncomfortable to be pined under it. Dad just snored <laughs> in reply and left, ringing with the keys he just found. Wow. A minute had passed, and the theme song from Little Mermaid echoed through the house. It was stored in it was stored on incredible worn out cassette tape, which Dad already had to glue together once. I'm sorry, I think um, we'll skip this. 
but how do you fix a relationship? Mom moved to the living room and I was left alone. Stealing glances at the window. Anxiously stealing glances at the window. Olga had trouble sleeping ever since we moved to this house because Grandma is still there, and Grandma said bad kids were be eat would be no will be will be eaten by the forest, the dark green forest. The ground will open and wow. yeah, that was that's what beautiful Grandma said, who never swore. By the way, she never swore. Olga had trouble sleep. Oh, yeah, ever since we moved to the house. Uh, she would toss and turn or curl up into a ball under her blanket. Yeah, that's way too many descriptions, folks. Way too many descriptions. And while she was doing this, her hair was falling from the light right to the left side, but one little <whistles> across her left eye, so she couldn't see that far underneath her blanket. It's faster, baby. Come on. I will skip a few of these, okay? Sometimes she would jump up in the middle of the night and turn on the VCR. Um, cartoons help to take her mind off. All the... We had to move our... What? We had with the move and our parents, okay? Ah! There it is. There it is. And then Olga said she saw the giant flying monster outside the window. Wow, that animation is brilliant, yeah. But I love the painting style, I really do. I like it, yeah. It's a bit like if you ever watch Bob Ross, the Jeff painting, you know, always with the big, you know, on the canvas, you do like this. So it's smooth here, it's smooth, smooth, smooth everywhere. And you do shh, shh, shh. Yes, and then you take Van Dyke Brown and Titanium White. Okay, now go back to the game, please. Um, she becomes obsessed with it. Our parents did everything in their power. They tried every little trick to get rid of those ridiculous fears. Olga refused to sleep alone and didn't believe that the owl was just one of her nightmares. After tonight, I was unsure what to make of my sister's words, what to think of it. Can nightmares be infectious? Yep. Just last night, I couldn't get a wink of sleep and ended up thinking of what to expect in my new school. Is this Michael Jackson? There's a cat. The door, we, oh, there's a dinosaur. We have a, what is it, cactus? Oh, he's a painter. Of course, of course, of course. No idea, a, yeah, 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 can we switch? No, we can't do anything. That would be, nice. it would be nice if we could actually do something, but I think it's just reading. So, good luck with, <laughs> what? Uh, what? Okay, somebody re uh, wrote something weird. Just a second. Um, you what ain hentai on screen, right? Whoever wrote this and just um. Just a second. I will be back. It's another... <laughs> and deleted his own message. Wow, that's nice. I will mute you, okay? Thank you. Because you're an idiot. Thank you. Okay. Um, there were a couple of days left before the beginning of, new ter of a new term. Okay. Before they go to school, okay? 
Uh, my, oh, wheel. my imagination drew long twisted hallways that led to a classroom full of kids. But all the students behind the desk were simply dark figures cut out using a template. Circular holes gaped, gaped, gaped in the middle of their faces and pairs of eyes blinked inside those holes. It was, a, it was as if some completely different creatures were looking at me from behind the flat black silhouettes. Well, that's a fear of unknown people. That's okay. That's not weird. Is it? I have no idea. Wow. Um, okay. Their cruel glares, filled with icy sneers, made my shiv made me shiver from head to toe. Okay. Um, will I survive here? I don't get this game. For real. Won't they gang up on me and beat me down? Stomp on me with their bloody shoes? Oh, that's his fear for school. Yes, of course, they would do that immediately. You walk into the classroom and they will just immediately take you down, punch you, and they all have bloody shoes. That's a weird thing. Yeah, that's always, that's kind of, maybe it's just a ritual in Germany, but when new kids come to school in Germany, back in the day it was like that, um, and people and the, the classmates knew there was a newbie coming. Yeah, they all took their bloody shoes from home. Yeah, and then just, we just punched them like crazy. And then said, hey, welcome. Once you collect all your teeth, <laughs> there is cake out there as a celebration. I'm sorry, is it just me or is it a... Mm, let's say, I think there... Maybe it's it's the translation that's a little bit off. I have no idea because it's originally a Russian game. So if we if we all would speak Russian, it would be easier. And I think we would have had voices. Didn't it say... In the settings? Oh, it's auto, not audio. Oh, voice. Yeah, there it says voice. But I think it's... Uh, what does this mean? Everything. Okay, let's see. Um... It's either the translation is a bit off here because it's translated or I'm, I don't know. I f it feels like they're trying too hard, a little bit too hard to make this. Ooh, are you afraid of the dark? Yeah, a little bit too much from my perspective. Yeah, that picture is scary. The damn school can burn for all I care. That's a good idea. Go to school and tell everybody, die, just die. I just wished for anything to happen to it. <laughs> they could be carry here. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't really matter what. I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go there that badly. I didn't want to. Yeah, I'm not interested. Come on. What? Huh? We can do something. Hey. What? Hey. What was that? Oh, did I do this? Oh, no. I did fast forward, I think. What is this? Uh, I think we start again, okay? Sorry. <laughs> I had no idea. Save. Oh. 
Okay, we have to start over. I tried to make it as fast as possible. I, I thought we could skip the lines, but I did fast forward. So um, it did fast forward until the next chapter. Sorry for that. I had no idea. Main menu. Yes. This is not unsaved. I did a saving. Hey. I have a save game. New game. Let's start again, okay? Um... Now we'll do it fast, with the lines and stuff. I haven't written down anything. This game is boring. Come on. Yeah, something is... <laughs> Sorry. Something's calling, something's calling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Faster, faster. Yeah, it's a wolf. No. Mommy, cookies, eat. What? Porridge, hide. E. Yeah, do this. Ugly, ugly. Where's daddy? Where's daddy? Daddy, daddy. Where's daddy? Daddy. Come on, daddy, daddy. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh! What happens? Oh, yellow eyes. No, green eyes. Oh, the cookie. Mmm, tasty. Katarina. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. What grandma? Where's grandma with her creepy eyes? Yeah, creepy grandma. She never swore. She just kills people in the forest. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. No, 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 we need to go to the bed. Where's daddy? Hello. Oh, there's a fox. Oh, there's a fox. No, it's an oil. Oil, 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 oval, oval. Look, hey, mom, eat. Yes, hey, sleep. What? No. Please not go. Let me be. What? Swear? No. I almost said father. I did say father. Stupid things. Yes, we get divorced. I hate you. I hate the beard. You're gray, whatever thingy here. And yeah, 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 I don't want to hear the word and I don't want to have two parents and whatever and get separated from Olga, which name is, I think, Olaya, but we call her Olga because Olaya sounds weird for me to say. So I just renamed the girl's character. Yeah, she's Olga now. Olga has, wow, creepy eyes, I think, yeah. And she's glazing at us. Mom, no, 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 feed it with what? Oh, you bet, Dad, get the keys. Going to work, Mom. I love you. What? She's scared. And then there is this, 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 and this, and this. If you have missed it and you are in now, I just do a recap of what we did in the first 50 minutes. Okay? Okay, sleep. Before a new term, we had that. Because I accidentally did this. Because this is going one step back and this is fast forwarding. Okay. I had no idea. Sorry. Again. Um... Middle of the faces, blah, 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 flat black silhouettes. Yeah, we were with the bloody shoes, right? From head to toe. Will I survive here? No, you won't. You will die. Yes, the German ritual. Yeah, it's called the German ritual, by the way. Yes, because all Germans have bloody shoes at home. Yeah, and if you buy new shoes, and maybe your bloody shoes are whatever, you can't wear them anymore because they're worn out, you just put blood on it, yeah. The damn school can burn all I care. You know, yeah, I wish it didn't really matter. I didn't want to go there badly. Okay, we had that. Smack in the head, trip me up. Think of a few offensive names for me worse than the previous ones. Okay, wow. Did I think as a kid like this? I have no idea. I felt, I think this is new. I felt like the glass I wore, glasses I wore, uh, made me an outsider or some sort of a monster. Wow. I I said this a few minutes ago. I think it's they're trying too hard. I just drank some water, sorry. Um... My gaze slid across the drawings hanging on the wall. These and that. I couldn't consider myself a great artist, but Olga begged me to hang them. Drawing was the only thing that made me happy as of late. The small circle of friends I had also enjoyed my paintings. And they promised to call me from time to time. Sometimes I imagine mum picking up the phone and saying, in a cold voice, you've got the wrong number. 
or Anton is not around. Anton is not around. I imagine my future classmates lying in their bed, lying in their beds, just like me, listen to the howls of invisible werewolves outside the windows. Maybe my new classmates mates will like me will like me after all. Oh, will like me after all. Oh, sorry. <laughs> will like me after all. Will like me? Will like me? What? Will like me after all, of course. Yes. As you can tell, I never won a reading contest. But who could ever like a boy with thick glasses? Nobody. Everybody hates boys with thick glasses. Come on. Everybody knows it. We hate them all. They have thick glasses. I mean, my dad used to wear glasses when he was little. And now he's married to the most beautiful woman on the planet. My mom. Oh, he's 12. <laughs> he's so delusional. The house cracked, <coughs> pressed by the wind. The condo we used to live in, a ninth floor concrete building, bust with a neighbor's drill, mumbled with a TV set from behind the wall, cried like a baby from the big family next door. Our current house, though, I can't really call it new, was completely different. It was silent and easy, going during the day. Its shadows lay... What? Its shadows lay dormant in the corners, on the closed cobwebs and under the stairs. But they all woke up during the night. Something was watching me from every corner, almost as if the old photos of my deceased family with their ashen eyes were hanging on the wall, walls in place of my drawings. What? Almost as if the old photos of my deceased family with their ashen eyes were hanging on the walls in place of my drawings. Okay. He has a weird fantasy, that boy, I would say. But, hey, it's his fantasy. It's not ours. We're not here to judge. Oh, yes, we're here to judge. That's why we do this. Right? Right. The floor was squeaking. Rusty drains were moaning. The attic was occupied by noisy drafts. One could think the house was performing some sort of demonic melody. <laughs> That's nice, yeah. <laughs> and then I realized I was, in fact, hearing music. It was already playing for a good while. Somewhere at the edge of my perception, I could hear a flute. It was mixed in with the sound of the wind, of the creaking old house, and my thoughts too. I hear footsteps. Doesn't he hear the footsteps? I stood up and rushed to the window. Oh, that was us. Okay. I stood up and rushed to the window. <clears throat> I wanted to reassure myself that this music was nothing more than a product than a product of my imagination. Just my imagination. Once again, running away with me. It was just my imagination running away with me. Yeah, sorry. I go slightly mad. Um, <clears throat> it's not like someone is playing in there. Amidst, amidst the cold snowy night. Huh? It's not like someone is playing in there. Amidst the cold, snowy night, right? Huh? <gasps> now we have to open. Oh, see, the fast forward sign is gone. We open. We can actually do something with our... In this game. Now, drum roll. 
That was lame, <laughs> but let's go. Oh. Oh, this is cute. Is it a bear? And a wolf? And a fox? And what is this? <gasps> this is Krampus. But he lives in Germany. He's not there. What? Someone was dancing in the field. Black silhouettes I could barely make out with the dark forest as their backdrop. They jumped around, basket in moonlight, bumped into piles of snow, rolled around and crawled on all fours. Stories about wolves playing under the moon came to mind, but these were clearly not the wolves. They stood right. Uh, they stood upright at times, circled around, holding hands, and whipping up snow, disappearing into the shadows for a brief moment and then coming back. Yep. Come on, this looks a little bit like a Bob Ross painting, doesn't it? If Bob Ross, you know, Bob Ross is a painting, of course. I, I think so. Everybody does, or most people do. Yeah, doesn't it? Look, here are the happy trees, see? And he always puts one tree in the front, at least. And here are the two trees. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's great, it's great, for real. Um, but, into the shadows for a brief moment and then coming back. Something bizarre was going on. Shadows dancing in the stairless abyss made my imagination go wild, making me anxious at the same time. Whoopsie! Are these bad creatures coming for us now? Are they? Or not? I will have a zip of coffee, fresh coffee, and then we'll know. Just a second. All right, the coffee is fresh, the milk is in, so I have to take a zip. This is the erotic part of the live stream tonight, today, tomorrow, and forever. Oh, was this good, was this good. Okay, suddenly the music had stopped. The dancing shadows froze in place, and, I could swear, pierced me with their eyes. One of the silhouettes immediately parted from the bizarre shadow, a shadow carnival, and sprinted across the field with giant leaps. <laughs> that was me screaming. It glided on squeaky snow without leaving any prints until it was devoured by the pitch black shadow of my house which became even darker and thicker yeah. I love the snow falling snow I want to have something like this in black and white for a Christmas screensaver. That would be great. A, ho a horrible Christmas. <laughs> and then here, somewhere here, you see a little Krampus. And what is it? A sleigh and a little bloody sleigh coming down here. That would be nice. Yeah. But hey. Let's go. Also, uh, darker and th thicker. My heart was jumping around like the bird inside a cage. Like the bird inside a cage. <gasps> I shut the curtains with a swift motion and stepped back towards the bed. 
Should we continue? Or are you frightened now? Are you frightened now? Are you? Or are you not frightened? Towards the bed. They saw me. A freezing torrent of fear washed over me. I stood in the middle of a perfectly dark room and listened to some unwatched guest move and scrape around, looking for an entrance. The sound moved to the right. Right. Then circled around the house. Now my guest should be at the front door. I jumped into the bed and covered myself with a blanket, as if it could protect me. Of course it can protect you. You're a boy. Hello. Two things will always protect you. When you're out of the bed and you want to get into your bed and it's dark at night, don't get too close to the bed because underneath the bed is a monster. Jump into the bed. Okay? You have to be at least five, no, three, three feet away, I would say. Maybe four. And then you jump into the bed. It's possible. It's possible. You're young and you have energy. And the blanket over your head, no monster can, will ever get through a blanket. Everybody knows that. Hello. The rules of monsters at night. So, let's be a man about it. <laughs> the shakeless of fear locked my muscles. I remember the f funeral, my grandma lying there, hands crossed on her chest, her facial features sharp, like that of a thin, a tin doll, a tin doll, a tin doll, a tin doll. Oh, tin! Oh, okay. A tin doll. Okay. Maybe it's a Russian thing. I have no idea. I know these tin soldiers, these little things, you know, from from. I had no idea. Tin. Okay. Don't. The atmosphere. Don't destroy the atmosphere. Right? Ants. Running up and down the legs of chairs that held my grandma's casket. I imagined those little creatures climbing up her head and pulling up her eyelids with their tiny legs. Oh, he's a creep. Then her wrinkly eyeballs. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I expected a lot now, but not wrinkly eyeballs. Hello. Then, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> then her wrinkly eyeballs would once again move inside their sockets and she'd be able to see her grandchildren. Do you really describe it like this? Move in their sockets? I have to do so many. I'm so sorry. I will do this the whole my as I said in the beginning, I have to my stomach is just pumping up air like crazy and I don't want to burp um, into the microphone. I think it's I like well behaved people. Yeah, yeah, and that's not good behavior. Um so I forgot what I read before. What was it? Yep. Then her wrinkly eyeballs would once again move inside their sockets, and she'd be able to see her grandchildren. I was chanting the spell she taught me throughout the whole procedure. What? Taught me through the whole procedure. Okay, so Grandma told us a chant. There's only one chant that could work. And if I would have viewers who would write in a chat, then some of them would know which chant that would be. 
It would be the power of three will set us free. The power of three will set us free. Yes, because we are charmed ones. Ha! And now, lying under the blanket and listening to squeaks and howls, I was repeating the same words that Prue Halliwell told me. Yes, only three seasons, my favorite witch, Prue Halliwell. Let's see. On the island of Buyan, underneath the blemished sun, in the sea of color blue, stands a cabin made of wood. That's the spell? That's not even rhyming. The power of three will set us free. That's a rhyme. No, no, no. Don't do that to us. That's not good. Need to take a sip of coffee before we go on with this chant. All right. On the island of Buyan. I think we have to read it through, right? Otherwise it won't work. On the island of Buyan, underneath the blemished sun, in the sea of color blue, stands a cabin made of wood. There lay lard and ashen hair for the spawn from devil's lair. To feast and always leave alone God's faithful servant named Anton. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> I like it. Yes, that's nice. So Granny was a good one. Look at this. Yeah, that's just a chant for Anton. I just love this. Yeah. They lay <laughs> lard and ashen hair for the spawn from devil's hair to feast and always leave alone. God's faithful servant named Anton. Isn't this great? Yeah. Oh, I would love to have a grandma like this. Yeah. Yeah. Evil leave this house must. Evil leave this house must. That's Yoda, right? Evil must leave this house. Evil leave this house must. Okay, so Granny was a fan of Star Wars. We know that now. I love the spell. I do. They lay lard and ashen hair. For the spawn from Devil's Lair. To feast and always leave alone. God's faithful servant named Anton. Evil leave this house. You must. Otherwise, well, that's nice. Ashes to ashes. Funk to funk. Bizarre sounds had, dis uh, bizarre sounds had disappeared. I caution cautiously peek out, <laughs> peek out from under the blanket and saw curtains waving around like a hangman. He has a weird fantasy, but he's 12. Come on. And then the night dosed me with a new portion of boiling terror. The sound scratched at my eardrums. In reality, something or someone was scratching at the front door. Hurriedly clawing at wood, demanding to be let in. Okay. The door was shut. Dad had become very ca cautious recently, so he installed a sturdy lock. I remember him staring at the forest intently as if he was looking for someone. Anton? 
that's us. Ashes to ashes, funk to funkin'. We know that Major Tom's a junkie. Chuck. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. I hugged my knees, placing my chin between them, and drilled the door with my eyes. It was so flimsy and weak before the might of what? It was so flimsy and weak before the might of darkness. Oh, uh, I don't get this. Sorry, I'm German. I'm not English, so I I don't understand everything. I'm sorry. I was. It was so flimsy and weak before the might of darkness. Boop. Anybody? No. Nobody. All right, let's go. And then. And then. And then. The doorknob twitched slightly. <coughs> then it turned halfway once, twice. As if the person who tried to enter had no hands. <gasps> the doorknob tilted once more. And then... <laughs> started clicking <clears throat> violently. My jaw cramped from fear. My wet fingers clutched the blanket. The door creaked and opened. The wind taunted me, mourning inside the tin drains. Now! Now you'll see. The door was wide open. The darkness withered, withered, withered in, right? Inside the, what? Carnivus mouth of a doorway. Tony? Tony? It was as if the night itself was calling out to me, flapping its back, uh, black wings and squeaking with rusty hinges. It was trembling, I don't know this word, by the web of darkness that hung in the corners of my room, waiting for the one who weaved it to come out of the gapping black hole. Tony, do you use Grammarly? Because writing is hard. No? All right, I will kill you. Let's see. My abdom, abdomen, abdom, abdomen. Uh, yeah, I know that, but I am, sorry. Tightened, and my chest rose up ready to exhale a desperate scream. But before I was able to do anything, the darkness asked me, Tony, do you use Grammarly? No, <laughs> Tony, are you asleep? I knew it was the sister. And his sister has no hands, as we know now. Yeah. My sister's pale face protruded from the thick shadows. Why not appeared? It's easier. I almost screamed from relief. Olga, I'm not sleeping. Did something happen? Olga frowned and stuck out her lower lip. A clear sign that she was about to cry. 
It is there again, staring at me. Shoo her away, Tony, please. I'm so scared, Olga says. The fear that was tormenting me just a minute ago crawled away and hid somewhere in my stomach. I needed to calm Olga down. It was just a dream, silly. Don't be scared. Dreams don't bite. No one is going to harm you. He saw four dancing or five dancing wolves at his window in the middle of the night and he says, hey, these are just silly dreams. Who is the pussy now? Come on. Olga sobbed. <laughs> she was trying her best to believe me. But was I sure myself? I have an idea, we say. Let's go to your room and watch the video Sleeping Beauty, for example. You like that cartoon, don't you? Why doesn't the Sleeping Beauty have a prince... And I have the scary bird. Also, why does it have a prince and I have a scary bird? Because you're not a princess. Hey. Yeah. Sorry, that's the truth. You're not a princess. You're just a random little girl. Yeah. Sad, sad Martha. The question took me by surprise. All right, let's watch Cinderella. My thoughts became tangled, fuzzy. What was that? What studied me with its eyes while dancing feverishly under the moon? The darkness was clinging to the window, and I couldn't be fooled by Grandma's old chance. It couldn't be satisfied with a feast of lard and long ashen hair. Tony, you're coming. Yes, yes, just a moment. Whoops, that got me. <laughs> that was a really good jump scare. See, this is how jump scare works after 80 minutes. And then you get it, like goosebummy, like woo -hoo -hoo. That's why I didn't want to laugh at Olga and her owl, owl, owl in the morning. Who could be visiting us here in the middle of nowhere? We don't know anyone around here. So persistent. I felt extremely unsettled just from a silly thought that our morning guest could have come from the woods. I still have no idea what this whole game has to do. I'm still waiting for the bunny, by the way, because it has something to do with the bunny. So, where is the bunny, baby? I could barely hear voices coming from the front door. My mind was urging my mind was urging me to hide in the closet, <laughs> under the table, behind the curtains, where Olga always hides. Tony, come here. I felt like a kettlebells, kettlebells. Sorry, I have to Google that. Sorry, just a sec. I have no idea. Some words I don't get. It's okay because I get the premise. But I have to know what kettlebells means. And then I tell you in German. And then we need to learn some German too. Look at this. This is educational what we do here. Yeah. And if you speak German, I don't care. <laughs> so it's called what? Ket. What? Oh, L-E-B-E? 
L L S B E L L S. What? I felt like cat level, cat level. I've no. We're tied to my feet. A bells. Oh, okay. Kettlebells. Huh? I will be back in a second, mind-wise. Oh, sorry, I have a sound problem. No, no sound problem. I just muted my laptop where the... Hello, work, old stuff, old thing. No, no sound problem. Oh. I just muted my laptop where the... Yes, and I wanted to mute it, everything else. Hello. <laughs> sorry. I just have to know how this word is. Kettlebells. Kettlebells, okay. Kettlebells. Okay. I have no idea. Some bells, okay. Okay, these are bells, apparently. I felt kettlebells were tied to my feet, but still dragged them, but still dragged them towards the hallway. Oh, kettlebells. Are these the things that back, back, back in the days that prisoners had around their feet? These big, so they couldn't run away? What? It's the werewolf. It's a werewolf. He's dressed as a policeman. A couple of policemen were towered over me in the doorway. They smelled like frost and worry. <laughs> this is <laughs> Officer Frost and Worry. <laughs> yeah, that's good. My mom always whines and grumbled the moment she saw patrol cars. Worse than bandits. At the moment, though, she looked somewhat confused. Hello. The senior officer, who wore a grim expression, nodded. A boy had gone missing yesterday. His name is Vova. What? I have a joke. A word, but I won't say it. It's not 11 o'clock. Look, look at this, please. Have you seen him? The policeman held out a photograph to me. There was a ginger boy around the age of elementary school, pictured with a wall carpet. What? Pictured with a wall carpet as the backdrop. Ah, okay. The wall carpet. I didn't see the picture. Sorry. He held a striped cat in his hand and wore a wide smile. Yes, we see the picture, so there is no use of saying that wide smile. No, I haven't. Are you sure? Look closely. Well, <laughs> where would I see him? I don't know anyone around here. I barely leave the house. Well, maybe you've seen him from the window. That's right. Your windows look straight at the forest, don't they? The window? No, I haven't seen anything. <gasps> Whoopsie. I see, says the policeman. <laughs> see his eyes. He's the werewolf. Look at him. He sounded tired, but his eyes, his stare, long and heavy, was full of suspicion. Suspicion hold in my heart. I <coughs> sorry. I squirmed unwittingly under the weight of his guilt. Under the weight of guilt? Which his giant shadow cast over me. Hä? Huh? I squirmed unwittingly under the weight of guilt. Which his giant shadow cast over me. Why do you feel guilty, baby? The policeman finally tore his eyes from me and glan glanced over the hallway, the stairway and the cracks in the ceiling, which I haven't noticed before for some reason. How do you like your new place, by the way? Getting used to it? Bit by bit, it's just our little day daughter. It's just our little daughter misses the city a lot. Misses the city? Ooh. Have the locals been treating you well? Yes, everything is all right. Thank you. The policeman pierced through me one more time. 
with his gray eyes. Well, it's black and white. It's we have no idea if anybody has blue eyes, right? My head started spinning. Um, can I help you somehow? I asked that in a shaky voice to look like a polite boy and to end this unpleasant conversation sooner. Now that I think about it, you look just like one of my nephews, little fella. He's a witty boy around your age, wears the same type of goggles, haha, <laughs> always engrossed in reading those mystery novels. Told me he wants to enroll in police school when his family visited this summer. Wanted to help other people, just like me, see? I felt uncomfortable as if a distant relative and not a police officer, officer stood before me. You know what? Little boys like you should stay at home. Steer away from trouble. The times have changed so much. Yes, they did. Times have changed. We have Corona and non-believers. And we all know it's the fault of Bill Gates. You know, that's it. Times have changed. Yes. Ave Maria. Mum interjected in a cold voice. You don't say. Uh, well then. What grade are you in, Tony boy? Sixth. <gasps> Sixth ends. Bruce Willis is coming. I know. That was cheap. That was cheap. A horror game. Black and white. No color. Sixth. And then we say six cents. That's cheap, cheap, cheap. Have you made any friends so far? Uh, not yet. I'll be going to school for the first time after the break. Ah, then I'll leave you my number. Just in case. Call me if you have any new info. The policemen were gone along with their shadows. Well, it would be weird if the shadows would have stayed, right? So that's normal. The smell of cheap cologne <laughs> and the photo of a smiling boy. <laughs> yeah. That's what a 12-year-old remembers. Cheap cologne. His face still stood before my eyes. I wonder what it was like for him being all alone there. For some reason, I thought of the forest swaying in the wind. What did this poor parents feel? Uh, did his poor parents feel? And what would my parents do if I'd gone missing? Well, mom would eat her own porridge and still be mad at dad because he doesn't know where his keys are. Would they cry and trash around hysterically? Obviously, oh, sweet. Um, or sweet. Or would they a accuse each other? like they always do, and forget about me eventually. Well, that's a possibility. That's a bit in the future. Uh, that's a bit close to the truth, I think, right? Mom, this... I have to be so careful. This Vova, did he gone missing in our forest? Seems like it, poor child. Seems like it, poor child. I looked out the window at the, at the road. I really want to know if these are real paintings or is it just... That would be great, but I don't think so. If they would have done black and white paintings for real, that would be great. Look at this. I love the style. It would be good, of course, if we could move. I would have to have a game, actually, where you could move in, in, a, in a game style like this. That would be great, yeah. But so far, um, I made a lot of fun at the beginning, had trouble reading it, <laughs> as usual. Uh, but so far, I like it, for real. It's a nice game. Yeah. 
It's the second, I think the second Russian game we play. The first was uh, My Name Is You, in the same way, just black and white pictures. And a lot of reading, of course, but in that, uh, in, in My Name Is You, there was somebody reading for us. There was a voice, but here there is no voice. Um, I looked, uh, so I'd really like it, yeah. I looked at the window, at, uh, I looked out the window at the road. Sorry. Um, the policeman was drove off towards the police was... UA, UA, is it a police name? UAZ drove off towards the village. The officer's nephew came to mind when I was splitting off old paint from the window sill. Oh, old paint from the window sill. Okay. Now I was confused because I thought of paintings. Yeah. Um, I remembered all the teenage mystery novels from the Black Kitty series I've read this summer. Your average boys and girls investigated all sorts of mysteries there. Uh, you average boys and girls investigated all sorts of mystery there. They looked for clues, spied on suspicious people, and after a set of amazing adventures, bam, solved any complicated case. They became local celebrities. <laughs> yeah, this, this is 2020. I want to be a celebrity. Who? And must have made their parents very proud. Okay. I noticed a trail of policemen's footprints that led to the forest. And then it clicked in my head. Why don't I start an investigation on my own? Sure. Maybe I'll find the lost boy. And I get a reward, 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 reward. I'm German. I can I can say stuff like and then I'll get a reward. Yes, Olga will be so happy. Yeah, yeah. And not only Olga, mom and dad too. Maybe they'll they will even forget about their quarrels for a while. Maybe I'll even save us from the D word. A divorce, yeah. I fantasized about buying Olga a Tamagotchi <laughs> and getting a cassette player and a bunch of tapes for myself. So this is like the 90s, okay? We're in the 90s. Cassette player, Tamagotchi, I think was at the beginning of the 90s, was a worldwide phenomenon. Anybody remembers that, Tamagotchi? Yeah. Was a little thing electronic device and there was a little screen and Tamagotchi was a pixel animal and you have to feed it for real and if you don't it died and everybody had a Tamagotchi at least we had <laughs> yeah and at school everybody was looking at his Tamagotchi oh I have to feed my Tamagotchi yeah and we had cassette players yes and a bunch of tapes for myself okay um, and a whole box of Kinder Surprise Okay. When was the last time our parents brought us any toys? Last autumn, I think. My dad had lost his job at that time. There's that annoying song about it. I had little to no idea what was the what was the accountant's job like. They count money, I think. Oh, his dad is an accountant. Okay, okay. Neighbors used to envy us. But nowadays, mom and dad barely had money to afford sweets. And dad would always divide a single chocolate bar between me and Olga. Well, rough times. Sometimes I gave her my share too. Oh, you're stupid. No matter how much... Of course not. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Of course, he's a good boy. No matter how much I wanted to eat sweets, she was still just a pipsqueak. Okay. Uh, church bells. <laughs> Here, I live near church, and there are church bells since Corona started. Every evening at, it's now 7.30 here in Germany, um, they start ringing, belling, belling, ring? The bells ring, right? The church bells are bong, bong. 
for, for uh, 15 minutes. Yeah, so that started. Yeah. Okay, now. Oh, come on. Finally, let's get us some stuff to do. Some clicking, at least. Come on. I couldn't wait to get out looking for clues. I'm going outside. Yeah, right. Why not? You want the police to go around with your photograph next? The forest is so thick. What if the boy got snatched up by wild animals or something even worse? Even worse? Echoed through the hallway. I won't go far. I stay away from the forest. Did you hear what I said or should I repeat myself? Better go pack your school bag or play with Olga. Didn't they say this was a school break? So he should, what, pack his school bag for the next three weeks? Or what? And who moved near the forest? The kids? Or was it you and your husband? <laughs> Sorry. I play with Olga. Who plays with his sister? The sound of splashing water came from the kitchen. It meant that the argument was over and mom had the last word. Uh huh. Oh, we can do. Oh, we can actually do something after almost two hours. Okay, we have three things to do. What is this? I know it's the symbol for an eye. The front yard, kitchen, open. Okay. We can... Oh, look, this is Harry Potter. See? Harry, is it you? Hey, Harry, is it you? Yeah. Um, we can open the... Let's say open... What is it? Basement, right? Yeah, yeah. Open the basement. Or front yard. I have no idea. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a bit far away from the microphone. Um, front yard. Or the kitchen. So I'm writing this down and saying this because we have no idea. The last time I played one of these games from Russia, that every time you made a decision, you could make one decision. And then the story turned into that. Or you can make another decision. So we're doing that. And of course we're... Huh? Oh no, we can save it here. Hey, I thought we have a safe game, right? So, if we make the wrong decision, we can go back, right? What? Okay, um, our instinct said go to the front yard. Mom said no. Um, Anton? I'll whip you if you make a single step out the door. Ha uh, What is this? Should we go to the kitchen? Ah. Yes, mommy. Why does everybody have a bomb? Can we take something? Oh, we can actually play. Look at this. No. Leave it open. I want medicine. I can throw eggs at her. Oh. Uh, Grandma kept ice cream for me and Olga there, but now I could only see meat bits for soup and clumped for soup and clumped together pelmeni. Ah, pelmeni, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a Russian thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Russian food yeah, yeah i grew to hate them already well can we take some i think maybe later 
Yes. This is medicine, right? Sort of butter or cheese? What is it? What is that? These are potatoes. This is butter. Okay, turn back. If I could turn, Mom, back your crossword puzzle. Oh, I took a peek at Mom's crossword. She would get very angry when someone gave her advice. So me and Dad fake knowing the answers and being about to reveal it all the time. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I smiled at the fleeting thought. Vertical nine letters, the name of the Philistine deity that protect them from viper bites and had a nickname, the Lord of the Flies. Second letter is the E. Hmm. Okay, that was just a joke. Okay, we have to go into the basement. Will you go with me? Will you be there? Hold me like a river Jordan. Will you be there? Will you be there? The dark stuffed closet. Whoops. Mum says it smells like mice. But how would she know their smell? Oh, because mom eats mice late at night when you, she just bites them, like Ozzy Osbourne. She hates when I stick my nose in there. She's afraid I'll cut myself on the freshly sharpened axe. And Olga can't even be lured close to it. She thinks Babai is living there. Babai? I know Baba Yaga. If I say it right for Germans, uh, that, that, that's a witch, a Russian witch, right? Who is, is Babai a certain, like, mystical bad animal in Russia or something? Babai, Albanish. Huh? Let's see. I have to take it just a small look. Just a sec. Ba bye, bye, bye. Babai, no. Yeah, <laughs> Babai. It says pre-order by Amazon. Wow. Uh -huh. Is it a movie? It's some I have no idea. Maybe a movie. All right, let's go. Um, she thinks Babai is living there. So maybe it's a monster, a mythical monster. I tried to help her fight her fears once. I opened the door and turned on a dim lamp. So she would see there was nothing but cobwebs, dead tools, and scratched walls. She still didn't believe me. And I'd like to hide, and I liked to hide in the closet and listen to Olga count outside. One, two, three. Better hide from me. Huh? Oh, when the per. Okay. What is it? Catch in English? Fangen. Verstecken. Hide. Hide and seek. Right. Um, and then drag her feet on the creaking floorboards, hoping that she wouldn't need to look for me in the cramped monster's den. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. What else? Ah, I need to sack mom somehow. Or I'll get scold and my ass whipped with dad's leather belt. Oh, that's nice. So how can we distract mommy? There's nothing in here. Emma Crom of Russia has declared the state of emergency due to adverse weather conditions. Okay, that's our state, as I think we're where we're living. Um, yeah, um, according to the weather forecast, a cyclone is moving towards the region. Expect having snowfall blizzards and snow drifts on the road. Keep your eyes open and take care of yourselves. Um... There is a thing for information, but I don't want to use it. And this is maybe a clue. What?
Wow. This cross has seen so many people come and go in this house. It was black as if it absorbed all human sin from the long years it was hanging under the ceiling. After Grandma died, Mom was going to take it off and hang a horseshoe <laughs> in its place as a lucky charm, yeah. But she cut herself with a cross, sharp corner, and almost fell from the stepladder. Dad called it a sign from above and ordered the cross to be left alone in its rightful place. I do some... My parents prohibit me from making long distance calls, but from time to time I really want to hear my old friends. Sometimes I pick sometimes I would just pick up the phone, listen to the low hum of the Zuma and the distant crackly crackling, imagining the wind howling in the eyes. Leaden chords? So he listens to this, okay. How can we distract mommy? Mom's pack top, a family relic. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Belong to her now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stay well, maybe even our future. A fairy tale of me. Has she starred at the dancing spindle as if it would show her something? A fairy tale or maybe even our future. Now even my little sister was a bit too old for... Yeah, yeah, come on. Too many... Sometimes it's too much dialogue. I'm sorry. How can we distract mommy? Oh. Um, among the still live picture hung a piece of ruled paper with the phone number of the police officer who visited us. First Lieutenant Tikhonov. Um, I read inside my mind looking at the police officer's sprawling handwriting. Yeah, as if it taunted me. A bit too much. Mom, Anton? Mom's reproach, reproachful eyes stared at me. What do you need it for? Hands off. You lose it. Angering my mom was the least the last thing I wanted I wanted. So I lowered my hand. Oh, that's a hint. Of course it won't be that easy. Ah, we have to get the phone number from this guy. Okay. But how? Nothing. In My goodness. Yeah, I know. You need dialogue. Can we get this? No. So we have to do something in the kitchen. I have, sorry, I have to take these hints. I did this. Um, so we need the, huh? We need the cross. And we need the phone number. Did I get it right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember that. And then there was, yes, I know. Yes, shut up. Too much reading. Can we do this? No. There is an information button. Let's use this. I'm sorry. Ah, 
Ah, glossary. Oh, it's explained. Babai in Slavic folklore, a nuptial spirit used by parents to threaten their ill-behaving children. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So it's something like that, like a ghost or something. Yeah. U A Z, a Soviet and Russian off-road freight passenger car brand. Wow, that's a long word. A Soviet and Russian off-road freight passenger car brand. Why don't you just say it was a car brand? Come on. Which was produced on the Ulyanovsky car factory. Okay. Yanovsky. Ulyanovsky car factory. Okay. Black Kitty, a series of contemporary Russian original or translated teen mystery books. Okay, so that's actually... So these are books you read as a teenager in Russia. Okay. Accountant. Okay. A song by an all-female Soviet pop band by the name of Combination that was widely popular in the early 90s. Oh, I thought accountant was his job because that's a job, right? Pelmeni, a Russian variety of dumplings. Yeah, yeah. Made by boiling thin unveiled dog filled with mince meat. One may even call it Russian fast food. Yeah, okay. Oh, thank you. What? Meat bits for the soup and pelmeni. How can we distract mommy? It was difficult to lie to mom, but there was no other way for me to run away from home. Mom, something's wrong with the TV. The picture is dim. Oh, I just had to click on mommy to get a, to start a conversation. I thought we have to find something like, ooh, throw a meatball somewhere and mommy has to get it. Just talk to her, idiot. Idiot is me. <laughs> yeah. The picture is dim and there are stripes all over the screen. Mom's face became visibly distorted. Uh, you're killing me here. So, have you had enough of shooting those stupid ducks now? Huh? I told you the... Kinescope will go dim because of a console. Oh, now it's a video games. Hmm? Yes, and he becomes a mass, mass murderer. Where will we find a defeat TV technician in this hole? Who? Maybe it's just the settings. Please go see for yourself. Strange. It worked fine in the morning. Maybe the snowfall caused it. Mum rubbed her hands clean on her and went to Olga's room. Oh, we are so smart. This is the house they're living in? Wow, I need some coffee. Wow, I'm actually doing this for two hours now, almost. I like the game. Rah, rah, rah. I need a fresh cup of coffee. Just a second. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Wow. Twitch is crazy these days. Even I'm not... Uh, you have the stream manager. Uh, and even I'm not listed in the stream manager. Wow. I'm not alive. According to Twitch, I'm dead. Wow, where's my coffee? I need dead coffee now. 
And then we'll continue. I like this. Hey, here we are back. And the ravens are still flying over the house. Okay. I'm really sorry. I have to do this very often. Every like every breath I take deeper, I have to burp. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Nice picture. Oh, what a titanium white. Yeah. I opened the front gate and went into the field. Carefully, so mum wouldn't see me from the widow, uh, window. Oh, sorry. When I crossed half of the distance towards the forest, the snow piles became as high as my knees. As high as my knees. I told you, my knees. What? Mayonnaise? What? I remembered my nightly fears. I saw the silhouettes around here. They were jumping around, holding hands. That hypnotizing music started playing in my head, all on its own. In the light of day, those distant figures felt like a simple dream. The sun turned my nightmares to ashes, but the aftertaste was still there, distance ringing in my ears, distorted shadows crawling on the snow alongside me. Right. Oh, I thought we could walk somewhere. Couldn't you afford a second picture? And a barely audible whisper in my he head, blurry, and almost kind. If the microphone sounds a little bit weird, I have it in my hands now. Oh! Everything was silent. So silent, I felt like the world was totally empty. No ground, no sky, no parents, no Olga. The time reached its limit. A one-way trip that ended at the forest's pinny stockade. Sometimes silence was much scarier than any scream. Our parents would scream at each other while arguing, but both me and Olga turned to stone, listening to them. But then always came the ringing silence. What? Out, appar appar out apartment became, our apartment became numb a couple of days before we departed. It was hard to remember the last time mum and dad joked around, laughing or spent time together. Almost like all of it was in the previous life. Yep, spending time together, that's a hint. When they kissed, what? When they kissed with Olga present, she always frowned and snorted in a funny way. Oh, he. <laughs> but one day it all changed. Something important had left our home, and something scary filled the remaining void. It was as if fire broke up, and our parents were hurriedly, hurriedly packing our belongings trying to save themselves and us. From who, though? From the people with dead cold eyes who sometimes visited us in our previous home? Well... How do you say this when the mortgage is due? People with dead cold eyes come across? <laughs> 
The eyes that only saw balls of worms on the black ground in everything. What? The eyes that only saw balls of worms on the black ground in everything. Um, I don't get that. And somewhere far away, a siren was going off, trying to warn us of the coming menace. Dot, 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 says the crow. I shuddered, chasing away my delusions, and looked around. Is this us? Why do this... This is Russia. Why do they look like a mixture between... I don't care. I shuddered, <laughs> chasing away my delusions, and looked around. There were only... There were only me? There were only me. This white field and the wind that was whipping up icy dust and belts of powdered snow. There was there was only me. So this is us, right? Oh, we're a cute boy, right? We're 12 years old. Yeah, hi. My name is Göteborg. I'm still here. Yep. I squint from the sun and turned my eyes to the sunless forest. It looked especially dark in contrast with the blinding whiteness. Knobby tree roots slithered under the snow like fat snakes. Okay, Rotten leaves and what? Needle needles froze in the ice. Oh, that was really us. I thought there was another boy. So we know we look like a 12-year-old. I think our glasses are fine. I have no idea. Dry, pickly branches intertwine, bringing up uncomfortable thoughts about fences. Okay. Were they protecting the forest? Hey, there's a glove. Don't you see the glove? There's a glove. Oh, or were they keeping something from breaking out? Some object was hanging from one of the pointy branches. I tried to get closer, drowning in snow, and when I almost got to the edge of the forest, I saw a knitted mitten. Yeah, uh, a knitted mitten. Mittens is, I know, oven mitten. Is it the same? Mitten? Ah, ah, okay, okay. A mitten is like a glove, but without the fingers separately. Okay, I got it. A mitten, okay. Ein Fäustling. Yeah, a German word called Fäustling. Heh, <laughs> learn that. Um, <clears throat> I tried to get closer, drawing in, uh, drowning in snow, and when I almost got to the edge of the forest, I saw a knitted mitten. It looked like a wounded bird among the hung... Oh, a bit much, baby. A bit much. It looked like a hungry bird. No, it looks like an average mitten knitted in Russia. Come on. Don't overdo it all the time. Sorry. Should I take it to the police? No. You should wait. If it turns into what? A monster? A moving hand? That will punch you in the face. Hua, hua. Um, the senior officer looked gloomy, <laughs> but he still reminded me of Captain Casanova from my favorite TV show called The Streets of Broken Lights. Wow. <laughs> the Streets of Broken Lights with a Captain Casanova. Yeah. And barely dressed people. He was <laughs> also always anxious with a tight look in his eyes, but still brave and strong. Will the smitten help them to find the lost boy? Vova. I heard a distant shout. Looked like it came from the river. Vova! As if the trees were calling out to someone. Well, 
Could have been anything. Sounded more like... Wah! Could have been Vova. Resounded closer to me. Someone was standing there behind the trees. Hiding. This sounds like Vova. I knew something was looking for the lost boy. Someone was looking for the lost boy. But still, something was unsettling about that figure. Its stillness. Where is the figure? Why didn't he take the mitten? I would like to click the mitten first. Grab it, baby. Grab it. Yeah. Okay. Um, its stillness. How it was bent unnaturally towards the ground. Huh? Where do you see that? Do you see that? No. It's blackness. Yes. Mommy, why does everybody have a bomb? There's no one there. Just branches and roots. Yeah. It's all just my imagination. We know that. A nearby bird flapped its wings loudly. <gasps> That's a sign. The monsters are coming. And tongue. Oh! <gasps> There was somebody. Whoopsie. Anton is right. A shadow split from the tree and disappeared from my sight. I looked away for just a moment, but when I turned my gaze back, my ga what my when I turned back my gaze back to the same place, it was gone. So it was my imagination after all. Silence reigned for a painful long time. Take the effing mitten. Hello. I want to click that. <sighs> well, he's a 12-year-old boy. Let's call him Anton the Pussy. Come on. My muscles were tightly sprung. My heart was beating somewhere in my throat. Okay, we are afraid. Any noise, any little movement, any small whisper from that thicked and eyed sprint. But nothing of that sort happened. I looked at the mitten once more. Anton, grab the fucking mitten. Sorry. Take. Yes. Vova. There's somebody. I saw that. Ah! A shout rumbled across the field. Dissolves into the distance. No echo. No hope for a reply. What now? I stepped towards the bristy trees and tried to claim my find. Come on! It didn't budge. I pulled harder. The branch cracked and the mitten tore off, landing on my hand with a... Yeah, with a sound. Come on. All too heavy. Wet. I squeezed it without thinking, and something dark spilled from it, forming a thin, a, ti a tin, a tiny string between the mitten and the snow. Seam rose from the snow pile. Woo! Blood. Blood! It's blood! I froze in place, studging my palms in disgust red the sound of cracking branches invaded the silence i didn't have to think twice before running away i can't scream sorry i really can't ah! Ah! running running ah! <coughs> that's all there is sorry run i have to drink coffee my voice Someone was chasing me from the darkness, breaking, breaking pine branches, closing the distance with giant leaps. 
Snow was slowing me down. Crazy thoughts flew through my mind. What a surprise, Anthon. I get caught. They'll get me. I get dragged into the thick. I'll be gone forever. But there was one more voice, probably one of the reasons. It gave me strength. Spurred me on. You can do it! Don't stop! You can do it! I heard an animal roar behind me. It was so loud, my ears went numb. I felt like the sound had come from a pack of hungry beasts, rather than a single one. The beasts that follow me! Their nostrils! Yes, they have nostrils! Sucked in freezing air. They sensed my fear. Two giant wings flapped above me, above my head. An enormous shadow flew over the clearing. A hoot! A wheeze! The roar were coming from all directions now. From the dripped up raspberry bush, <laughs> sorry, from twisted pines, from under the windfall. Hurry on! Don't look back! It felt like I was inside a nightmare. The snowy, the snowy clearing becomes... I can't do that. Like quicksand. I was stuck in place. I pulled my leg from the mushy trap just to be caught in a new one, even deeper than before. I continued to draw on, sinking deeper and deeper with every desperate push. Was snow ever this sticky? I screamed in horror after realizing this wasn't snow. Someone or something in the snow pile was clutching my pants. I gathered all my strength and rushed forward. The pressure on my legs was gone. My boots slipped out of the hole and my soles were on a hard surface. Alright. I reached a clear path with one jump and from there ran to my house. Its gloomy facade didn't look threatening now. That house was my line of defense from the shadows that flapped their wings and the creatures that were hidden under the snow. I tripped over the doorstep and smashed into the door. In all my hurry, I still managed to notice the claw marks. As if a dog was striking the wood with its paws, demanding to be let in so it would escape the cold. I hadn't noticed these marks when I was leaving. The heartbeat in my ears was much louder than my sorrowing surroundings. I couldn't hear whether someone was following me or not. What if they were already in our front yard and mom had locked the door? Drowning in fear, I pulled on the doorknob and it obediently gave away. I rolled into the hallway and shut the door behind me. Porch planks creaked at my pursuers uh, as what? Ascendant the stairs? Ascendant the stairs? Sorry. That takes off the whole bite. <laughs> just a second. What is it? I have to understand it too, no? It's not just a reading contest. Um, S. Did tracks on my pursuers ascended the stairs. Okay. My fingers slipped off the lock and I couldn't click it into place. I gritted my teeth and pulled hard on the iron knob, wipe, wiping it between the boards. What? I start. Blankly, I stared blankly at the door. Someone was standing out, uh, was standing on the other side of the pitiful, flimsy barrier that was probably less useful than blankets. Right, blankets, I say it, I said it before, it's blankets. Everybody knows that. Blankets. Weaving, 
breath reached into the house and crashed at me in waves. It smelled of pine and sweat. Mum peeked out of the kitchen and chastised me with the same fridged voice that she, uh, she always used when she when always used when talking to dad what exactly did you understand when i told you to never slam the door i i didn't mean to i snuck a glance at the door the smell was gone and the breath was too if there was someone in the first place if there was someone in the first place of course sorry um Here, mer five meters away from mom, my fear was slowly weakening, melting like snow in spring, and with it the last bit of strength I had left. I had left my body too. What? My legs gave away. I propped myself up against the wall, so it wouldn't. I wouldn't fall over. Mom's expression had changed immediately. The cold mass of strictness and detachment was gone. Mom looked the same as before, all those quarrels. She finally saw my condition, my wet pants plastered with snow. Where have you been? What did I tell you, hmm? I told you to stay home. Am I nothing to you? I got afraid she would cry. I reached out to her like when I was very little and wanted her to cuddle me. But mom regained her composure fast and put on her usual face. Her eyes shined like steel. Her voice rang out. Your dad can't find his cigarettes. Be honest, did you snatch them? Were you smoking? <laughs> oh no. I, the, there was... Someone chasing me, I, I thought. I stuttered as soon as I started explaining myself. Tears well up in my eyes. Mom leaned towards me and sniffed my clothes like a beast, searching for the smell of tobacco. Then she squinted her eyes in suspension, suspicion sorry, and looked into the front yard. Her expression changed in an instant and she covered her mouth with her hand. Look over there, at the fence. My heart started thumbing as if I became prey once again and my pursuers were following me into the field. I could swear that I've heard something scratch at the door just like in my nightmare. Mom, me with a finger, and I gathered all my remaining bravery to look into the kitchen window, facing my fear. I could barely discern some hairy silhouettes swimming in snow through the icy winter patterns on the glass. My goodness, yeah! Sorry, but this is sometimes a bit too much. Couldn't you just say he saw the dogs or the wolves he saw at night through the icy glare of the windows while the snowflakes fall from the trees and the branches are cracking silently while a little bird flies into the blue sky singing, It's a great day for the Irish. It's a great day. Yeah, please, a little bit less. Sorry, that was just me being angry at the game. This You take off the... I wanted to know what's happening here. Dogs. Just a small pack of strays with no name <clears throat> and owner. Barely reminding... Uh, re minding, barely reminding of the hungry monsters that live on the edge of the forest. Oh boy, were you scared of them? I think they'd rather be scared of you, Anton. They were chasing me like a bunny. And what if they are rabbit? The smile had slowly disappeared from mom's face. Now she looked at the dogs as if it was her first time seeing them. What if they attacked Olga? Mom? 
I wish your dad could just shoot them all. Mom, look, they're alive. Who, what? Are they your friends or foe after all? Make up your mind. You're not a little kid anymore. He's 12. Of course he's a little kid. Mom sighed in annoyance and I felt so bitter that I bit my lower lip and fixed my gaze <clears throat> on the cobweb ridden corner. Welp, some detective I am. I, in reality, I wasn't risking my life among monsters, but rather my pants among a pack of stupid strays. And what for? What use do I have for this? Mitten? Of course. A dark and sticky mitten that belonged to the lost boy made a squishy sound in my hand. Seems like I was clutching it the whole time. Huh? That's my... No, I don't say that word. Sorry, that's my card. As a detective. I hurried to, pre I hurried to present this clue to my mom. My mom looked. Mom, look, this is Vova Smitten. That boy the police was asking about in the morning. It's drenched in blood. I found it hanging on a tree. I can, sh I can show where. Let's call the police right away, like the officer had told us to. Mom, look. Ew. A shadow of doubt slowly creeped onto Mom's face. Yeah, yeah, okay. Please don't be that poetic now. As if she was trying to remember something distant, like someone tries to remember their dream. Yeah, yeah, slipped away. Stop at this moment. Olga will go insane if she hears you. Eh? Huh? She already has trouble sleeping all the time. Oh, sorry. And you joke around like this? At the moment I realized the mitten was actually wet from snow. There was no blood whatsoever. I wanted to sink through the floor from embarrassment. Come here, my boy. Who cried wolf. Oh, don't just stand there. Come take your pills. A golden colored pill, reminiscent of a dead wasp, fell onto my palm. I already took one during breakfast. Don't talk over me. I told you to stay home, and you? Dad wouldn't give you a good whipping. Dad would have given you a good whipping for that. Come on, take it. Or you won't be able to sleep at night. <clears throat> and you have school tomorrow. So I had to swallow the bitter medicine. Drinking it down with similar awful water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it wasn't Vova's mitten. Maybe it wasn't a mitten at all. Just like the forest monsters. And Olga's owl? Am I going mad? What's happening to me? Either the pill had an immediate effect or my over-exerted brain didn't let fear inside anymore. Serenity washed over me, bringing along with it. What? Anton, you're done? See, you can do it when you try. Take off your coat. Are you sleepy? Uh, are you asleep? What? No, mom, I was just thinking. What about, I wonder? It's just something silly. Mom scrutinizing with suspicious eyes, okay? As if she wasn't sure she was looking at her own son and not some... Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't get this. Is this uh, this this over, overriding in terms of she was looking at me like I was not her son, like I was somebody from the forest, maybe a creature crawling from underneath the snow. Is that a hint or is just I I don't get it. Because for real this goes a little bit. It's a little bit too much. Otherwise it's nice. Oh. I think she, I should play this for an hour so it's not 2 hours. 2 and a half hours. Okay. Is everything all right? You had the exact same expression when the policeman asked you about the window. I'm all right, Mom. Yeah, because you don't believe him. You always talk about whipping, whipping, whipping. 
stupid. Yeah, she heaved a deep sigh and grabbed her breast, fine. It seems like the house had changed. The sofa's The sofa's fabric had become discolored. Fingerprints appeared on the bathroom have fingerprints appeared on the bathroom tiles. The light bulbs also felt different, dimmer and yellower. Even the inside my mouth had a different taste. Saliva, sorry. Um a melody from Aladdin would be heard from the upper floor. Olga was done rewatching her favorite Little Mermaid episodes and switched to other tapes. Okay. What is wrong with him? I slowly changed into my home clo cloth closet. Yeah, wow. Stopped before the sink and studied my reflections in the mirror. Like I was trying to solve one of those spot the difference puzzles. Ah, okay. Then I went upstairs. Oh, that's Olga watching a TV show, right? Yes. Nice little room. The house looks crooked, but from the inside it's nice. Jafar's and Lago's voice died down. I walked past Olga's bedroom and slipped into my own. Hä? Huh? One of the drawers was empty. I hit the mitten there. Hä? Huh? Did I miss something? We were downstairs. How could we... Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, achievement. We have the mitten achievement. In the mitten of the game. <laughs> we have an achievement. I hit the mitten there. Oh, now I get it. Sorry, that was my mistake. Uh, the simple action drained the last bit of strength from me. Okay. I sat on the bed. And only then I noticed there was someone behind the curtains. <gasps> and that's, of course, Olga. My tired hand dropped to the sheets. Whether it was due to medication I took, I took or I took, um, sorry, this is me. I'm out of it. Just a second. Okay, now I'm back. <clears throat> I had to drink some water. Whether it was due to the medication I took or the stress I underwent, the room began to contort as if the wind was blowing the walls out, like a pair of snail sails. The room's corners bent and undulated. The only stable thing in the whole room was the figure between the window sill and the curtains. A flimsy piece of cloth was stuck to my hidden visitor, just like a servant of sorts. Olga? Who else would be standing there? I stood up and licked my dried up lips. Yeah, Olga, it's so funny. The silhouette was unmoving. It was enveloped softly by the it was enveloped softly by the curtains as if there was a thick layer of darkness there, not a human being. 
I reached toward the curtains. Bada boom, bada boom, beat my heart, controlled by medication. Wow. The wind sang in the field with a chorus of voices, and then the angels came. Oh, honey, I'll miss you, and I'm being good, and I love to be with you, if only I could. Bit less, bit less, please. For a second, I wa wanted to return to the bed, just lie down and watch the person behind the curtain. That's actually a f my favorite idea. <laughs> Knowing full well, they were looking back at me. They're looking without blinking, waiting for me to fall asleep. Plastic rings rus rustled against the holder when I pulled open the curtains. Gotcha! I knew it was you from the beginning. Bright hello lit up above Olga's head. What? With the setting sun and oh, as the background. Okay, my sister was shining. When she was just a baby, Dad always used to say she was shining with happiness. <clears throat> I always told it, but Dad, she's not some flashlight. <laughs> yeah, sunlight poured a smile on her face. I felt like I was holding a child woven from yeah. I saw everything. Oh. Oh, really? What did you hide? She was like my mom when she was little. She was like my mom when she was little, before she put on her sad mask of tiredness and switched to her commanding tone of voice. It's nothing, just up to the table, her eyes round and asked, You stole them and did hide it there? Are you a thief? What? Don't be stupid. I didn't steal anything. A clear <clears throat> image came to mind, that mitten hanging from a tree branch. What if I did steal it after all? From the forest, from the tilted figure, standing behind black trees. Olga could be selfish and stubborn when she wanted. Then show me. Swear that you won't tell anyone? Then I'll show you. Olga wore a plodding smile. I swear on Mom's heart. An oath she heard in one of the movies about the pioneers we've watched. Don't say that thing like that. Yeah, yeah, Olga nodded and gestured. Let's get to the <laughs> yeah, giant eye splashing. I opened the door and then holding her breath. Exotic critter. <laughs> Is this someone's mitten? She said that, as if she couldn't understand what she saw. A certain boy lost it and got lost himself. Now you do understand how dangerous it is for kids to wander into the forest, right? He must be really cold out there. Will they find him? They will. The police are going house to house, showing his photo to everybody. I went to the room with care and pressed her tiny palms against the window. And the palms got cold in the winter, in the forest was dark. And why are they going to house houses? Not to the forest? Are they scared? The question caught me off guard. The police aren't scared of anything. Yeah, right, flashed in my clouded mind. Did they really check every nook and cranny where darkness, cold and whispers of icy branches dwell? If that's the case, how did they miss this mitten? Or did it appear later for me? I changed the topic. As if trying to get Olga as far away as possible from the forest. Yeah, yeah, thick. Uh, we may get a reward if we go out and find this boy by myself. Uh, oh, yeah. A lot of stuff like Field of Wonders. Sounds cool, right? Olga wasn't listening to me. She was piercing the forest with incredibly adult eyes. Uncharacteristic for her. 
What if the owl got him? Nonsense, an owl won't be able to lift a human. But you know what? I was picking my words with utmost care. I forced them out of my over-exerted brain. Stay away from the forest. What? I don't get this. Sorry, I'm dumb. Huh? I was picking my words words with I'm just going I forced them out of my over exerted brain. Oh the words, oh, I'm sorry. Um stay away from the forest. That was a sentence before that I think shorten it. Yeah. I think it is. I think it is. How should I put it? It's cursed or something. Just like a fairy tale? No, not like that. More like <clears throat> in that spooky tape mom and dad are hiding from us. Ah, yeah, I once found a spooky tape. Olga shivered and stole a glance at the window. I saw you running away. Someone was chasing you. No, it's just I was hurrying back home so mom won't be worried. As I looked at my sister, my heart was tearing up, apart. Huh? It's late. It's not. Won't be worried. As I looked at my sister, my heart was tearing apart. Why? She was so fragile, it was so easy to stifle her light. A gust of wind and her small fire would be gone. You're lucky. Mom won't even let me go outside. I'm like a princess in the tower. Can't even go anywhere. Yeah. I don't read that. This is a conversation I don't read now. You can read it, okay? You're in a cartoon. Mom and Ruth dead each other, but... For my next birthday, I'd wish. Like we used to. Oh. Yeah. And if you'd make them a small, as small as bucks, we could place them into a little box. Wow. Well, yeah. On my sleeve. I don't want to, okay? You read this, okay? Because this is just a little bit of dialogue. Come on, yeah. For me, it's boring now. Yeah, for me too. Tapes by heart at this point, okay? Not all of them. You haven't watched Peter Pan. Remember how you fell asleep in the middle of it? Let's go, let's go. Maybe a bit later. How it ends? Let's leave that for tomorrow. I won't tell you tomorrow. I know. Let's play hide and seek. No, Olga. Then draw me a diner. Olga, please. Draw it, draw it. I'm already. I'd never screamed at my little sister like that. Olga stared at me in shock. Her lips started trembling to tears. My chest was seething with disgust and embarrassment. What happened to me? I hurried to prevent Olga from crying. All right, you win. Let's go watch cartoons for a bit. Why? I don't want to. on her soft head. Let's go.
Yeah, her eyes were wet and felt bottomless. She's a little girl. Hello. My goodness. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yes. I go and ask mom for condensed milk and bread and you rewind the tape. The bread is fresh. Just how you like it. Okay. All right. Why do we do this now for 10 minutes? What's with the monsters and the mitten? Hello. I want the story, the mitten story, not the Aladdin whatever story. Give me the mitten. In the mitten of the night. All right. This is just uh, whatever. All right. Uh, just be careful not to spill the milk, dummy. Or you'll be yelled at again. Um, I drag my feet into the neighboring room. What? A piggy bank. Oh, I'm saving money for a real puppy because dad said that taking care of him will take a lot of money. Okay. Olga's countless toys. Bear attacking. Olga doesn't sleep without it. Okay. Yes, when she sleeps with her feet under the blanket. My goodness. As you can see, I'm not the romantic type. I'm sorry, <laughs> for real. But something is... I just love this. So far, I really like this game. But at some points, it's a bit too much. They've shortened it. Should have shortened it, yeah. Okay, we have to turn on the television, right? Yep. Wow. That, those were in the 1990s. Look at this. Yeah, that's a television set, ladies and gentlemen. And that's a video recorder and that's an antenna to get a program. <laughs> yeah, the old Photon TV was gathering dust in the corner. All that was left was clicking the button on the front panel. You have to rewind the tape on the black screen, yeah. That's what television looked like back then. Huh? I almost reached out to turn on the VCR when the noise calmed down and a blurry image appeared for a moment. Okay. Now we have to take a very good look. What? It was a dark it was a dark tiger forest, just like the one outside my window. Shut up, I'm reading. The picture split the screen in half. Something creepy, resembling human speech, was coming out of the speaker. Just a few moments later, the scenery was again shadowed by noise. Did I catch some rogue signal? Local TV stations only really showed Soviet cartoons, and even that was pretty rare. And only just recently, I used to always watch Robotech before school. It was so awesome. Maybe I should tinker with the antenna. What if I catch this channel again? And on the other hand, Olga has asked me to find the tape. Have ranks to do it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Ouais. We have to find Peter Pan, right? Yeah, it was Peter Pan. Yeah. Where is Peter's pants? What is this? Pupu chukurubia. Richub. Usburu. Davai davai. What? Okay, I sifted through the shelves full of dolls and blah blah blah. I found the tape I needed thanks to its shabby spine. What? From the box? Yep. Less explanation, please. The Russell was lulling me, lulling me, lulling me to sleep. And drowsiness attacked me while I was squatted before the TV. I had my Olga flying above the forehead. But images why <laughs> world in my head me and olga flying above the forest tumbling in the soft clouds my little sister is laughing but her smile becomes more and more forced with every passing second forced i notice that the clouds underneath us part bearing the bristly pine tops swampy darkness slurred among the Tress, trees, sorry. Uh, the wings are no longer able to hold us. And Olga, you haven't started without me, have you? My sister brought the tray with evenly cut bread, unevenly cut bread, and a whole can of condensed milk. Oh, that's condensed milk is tasty? Well, of course, well, if you do so. I rubbed my eyes. No, come sit. Mom and Dad are arguing again. They are going through rough times. Rough times are lame. <laughs> yeah. Screen Wendy was hiding Peter... What? Wendy was hiding Peter Pan's shadow into the dresser. Olga was entertained by the cartoonish dog Nana. Okay. Oh, that's Peter Pan. Oh, look. Yeah, and Hook is there. And Tinkerbell. Hello, we have Tinkerbell. Yep. Maybe mom and dad will buy us a dog too. Yeah, right. I have my own dog in the Neverland and a cat and a parrot. So Olga smeared a slice of bread with a thick layer of condensed milk and handed it, handed it to me. Huh? How do you make a thick layer of condensed milk. I think that's wrong in the uh, translation, right? Have you lost all of your baby teeth? Olga asked me. Obviously. Olga frowned, deep in thought. Peter Pan has baby teeth. What if they won't let you go to his land with adult teeth? <laughs> oh, how cute is that? Oh, you can't go to Neverland. When you have adult teeth, yeah. So just lose all your teeth when you're tooth optional, so without. Um, well, then you can go to Neverland. Well, think of something. We'll think of something. We'll ask Dad to alter your age in the passport. <laughs> oh, Jesus. How sweet. And why would Dad forge documents? Olga took a bite from the sandwich and started talking with her mouth full. He... He mum but mum say he didn't that before. You'll grow ears as big as Dumbo's. Olga got worried and touched her ear. I smiled to myself. Okay. You got sucked into a fairy tale Neverland, okay? To be honest, I almost imagined myself there, in a land where n one never ages, where no one argues over little things, which would be great to not argue over little things, where no one listens to fights and the sound of broken plates at night. 
Oh, parents fighting. Isn't this fun? I felt it felt like I was dreaming with my eyes still open. Then my sister's scream pulled me back to reality. Tony, shut the curtains fast. Why? No one's watching you. It's dark, and when it's dark, the owl comes. I'm, I'm scared. I got out of bed, <clears throat> fighting my drowsiness, and closed the curtain. I, I had the movie still running. I did my best <coughs> to look outside, to not look out, uh, to no oh my goodness, I did my best not to look outside, sorry, towards the treetops, towards the tiger forest, which seemingly drew closer and closer. Of course, it was just a visual effect from shadows of branches scraping the snow. Tony. Oh, that's us, yeah. Mom thinks I made the owl up. And Dad, too. Thinks I'm a liar since I'm small. But the owl exists. Honestly, honestly, it does. Okay, you do believe me, right? That it comes every night and... and I swiftly grabbed Olga's hand and took her and looked her in the eyes. I was trying to transfer at least some of my courage and determination. But did I really have those qualities? No, you don't, because you thought the oven mitten was bloody, which we know now it wasn't. Well, stay up and when... Your sister sees the owl, the bird. Look at the bird. Come on. Yes, I believe you, all right? You don't nag our parents about it anymore. They're already dealing with a lot. So there's an even mad at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come and tell me if anything happens. Okay. And don't look out the window. Well, but it wants me to look doesn't matter act like it doesn't exist and never existed like it's made up just like mom and dad say i get tired of waiting and flying away eh? i it it'll get tired of waiting and fly away okay let's see if we see the 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 all all what it was madness but after everything that's happened recently I was more and more incli in inclined to believe Olga, Olga's all existed, dot, dot, dot. Hello. Is there anybody out there? No. We followed Peter Pan's adventures as if nothing had happened. As if the forest didn't kidnap kids. As if our parents weren't tearing each other apart, bit by bit. Okay. Captain Hook was running away from a crocodile and Captain Pan was headed to London on a gilded sailboat. But some miracle, by some miracle, I lasted longer than my little sister. Olga's eyelid had dropped. She started <laughs> snorting lightly, resting her chin on the side of the bed. I stood up and left Olga's room. I was looking out the window, studying the field, when Mom peeked into my room. Okay, I have to take a small break because I'm reading now for three hours. Yeah, and I thought there was a voiceover in this game, sorry. Mommy, enough playing around, Mom says. It's your first day at school tomorrow. Go to bed. You should sleep properly. You gave him sleeping pills and he's still awake. You don't want to be teased for being sleepy, right? Adults <laughs> think everything is so simple. As if sound sleep would ensure my classmates would like me. 
as if sound sleep would in oh ensure my classmates would like me. Yeah, I covered myself with a blanket up to my neck and listened to the house humming, to something invisible rustling in the corners. My inner voice had a question for me. Do I want to hear that mysterious flute again? Yes or no? Maybe it's just a part of growing up and I can't fully understand my own desires. The forest wailed behind the barrier that was my walls. Some ethereal entity wandered the fields. Sometimes I don't get this. I understand the words and stuff, but I don't get the the meaning. This is way too much for a 12-year-old boy to have these type of thoughts. Branches shook as if call a uh, branches shook, branches shook, <laughs> sorry, as if calling for me. The wind howled on and on. In the night. My thoughts were like annoying fleas, flies, that entered my head before becoming weak and tangled. I didn't notice how I fell into slumber. Oh, where's the monster coming? What? What? Thank you for completing episode one of Tiny Bunny. Did you enjoy it? Well, 80%. Less poetry, more going forward. That would be nice. Do you want to know what happens next? Oh, we are already working hard on the continuation of the story. Oh, they haven't finished this. Okay. Can I save this? Sure, I can. Uh, let's see what Steam says. Hello. Oh, it's not working. I thought it was a link. Who? The bunny. <laughs> <laughs> 